Welcome into our Sunrise Chapel podcast today. Thank you for joining us for our devotion. I think it's very important for us as believers to rely upon the promises of God, especially in the times in which we're living in, which we all must admit are very unsettling times uh, from politics to economy, national disasters, diseases that are affecting millions of people. Fear itself is one of the great pandemics of all time. So people uh, seem to live in fear and isolation. But there's also a lot of beautiful things going on in the world. And I don't know about you, but it seems like it's time for a shift in our mindset, time for a change that uh, will take us in a different direction to where we get up every day looking at what is right in the world and what the blessings are in the world. And really the only way we can do that is to go back to the Word of God and and get reacquainted with a lot of the promises that He makes us in His Word. Because while we cannot always alter the circumstances that are around us, we can determine to transform our hearts, our minds, our relationships, through the renewing of our relationship and fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ. One of the great promises that God makes us that we really need to start with is His love for us. See, He demonstrated His love by giving us the most extraordinary gift possible, the life of His only Son. Jesus accepted our punishment. He paid the price for our sin. And then, He offered us a new life that He brought to us through the power of the Holy Spirit. He willingly gave up the comforts of heaven so that we might receive God's love and access to heaven through his sacrifice let's be honest this morning this world will disappoint us circumstances will disappoint us even people will disappoint us but the word of God bears out a promise that God's love never fails it will never disappoint us the promise of his love is available to everybody with no cost except to receive it If you have not received the love of God through His Son, Jesus Christ, in a very personal way, then I invite you to do that today. But if you have received Christ as your Lord and Savior, I need you to rely upon that promise today that no matter what's going on in the world, no matter what happens in the world, it cannot change the dynamic love of God for you. The promise of His love is available every day because His Word said in John 3, verse 16 and 17, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him, might be saved. And you can adequately replace that word world with your name because He came to save each and every one of us by by extending His love for us. Paul writes in the the book of Romans, chapter 5, verse number 8, that God commended His love toward us And that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So today, let's start out by thanking God for the promise that He made us. That there is everlasting life available to us through His Son, Jesus Christ. That's how much He loves you. I don't know what's going on in your life. I don't know what's going on in your world. But I do know this. God loves you. He's always loved you, and He always will love you. Doesn't matter what you're going through right now, God can bring you out of it. He can change your circumstances. He can change your world simply by the power of His love. So today you be safe, you be strong, and you be blessed. And you be that person that stands on the firm foundation of God's undeniable promise. And that's His love. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, as always, I sure hope you have a great day.